Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk to you guys today about ones to watch cards and what the best time to buy these ones to watch cards could be because we are entering the end of the ones to watch promo. I think we have two or three days left. I think these cards go out of packs like Monday at 6 p.m. UK. Uh, the squad building challenges will end around that time as well. And the objective for uh, Mr. Ndombele will end at that same time as well. So the ones to watch stuff is literally going to be done. Uh, yeah, one day, 22 hours when this is over. So we might have a few more hours for the actual cards and packs still. But uh, make sure you guys are getting that objective done if you're going for it. And if you want to do these SBCs with the Promes or with the uh, player pick for Sanchez or Mkhitaryan, get those done as well. Um, and yeah, as you're watching this video, it's probably Saturday. And uh, Premier League games are starting up. For the weekend now i have some games over here that i pulled up on sofa score for saturday there's not very many ones to watch players that are actually playing on saturday a lot of the players are playing on sunday this week which is kind of interesting uh but tomorrow we do have west ham crystal palace we have holler in there and Dombele's objective card um and then a couple guys from real madrid obviously then we have some uh dortmund and Bayern munich cards as well and then other than that maybe we have the psg Acardi. Um, and then Ben Yedder. So it's there's not a lot of ton of action for ones to watchers on Saturdays. A few cards um, that we could watch. And as you saw, I have a couple hollers on my transfer list just to see if we can maybe get some hype there. But I want to talk about kind of the price fluctuations for these guys and what I'm going to see happening over the next couple of days as we end the, the as we near the end of the promo. Uh, a lot of people want to know. Hey, let's say I want to I want this ones to watch Griezmann for my team. 590k he was 550 earlier when's going to be the best time to pick up this card when's going to be the best time to pick up this uh lozano or ben yetter a lot of people want this ben yetter card um so i want to kind of address that today because these are special cards they were in packs obviously for 10 days this year so it is a bit more than team of the week but they're special cards they're going to rise out of packs most of them will but again uh, they're still in packs now, so I think there's the best opportunity to get some of these cards is going to actually happen this weekend. So, for the cards that play today on Saturday, what I want you guys to look for is a lowering in price, the sell-off after the game. So we'll use Ben Yedder as an example. Right now he's 125,000 coins. He is inflated a little bit. He was 115k earlier this evening. But he's definitely inflated, rising up into his game today. He plays, again, uh, they play Montpelier in the afternoon, my time uh, today. So, Benyetter's price is rising. People are, are know that he's been performing very well IRL for Monaco. He's been scoring a lot of goals, and that's why they're investing in this card, because they think he's, he could score, and they could make some money on that card, possibly get the inform, all the hype, all that kind of stuff. So, that's why this card is up. Um, but let's say Ben Yedder does not have a good game today on Saturday. Let's say he does not score any goals, does not have an inform worthy performance, and you see this card's price drop down. You're going to see a lot of selling after that game, which is what you normally see with ones to watches. But these cards are, have a lot more supply than they had last weekend when they were first out. So the panic selling, not panic, but the sell off after the game from people who invested in this Ben Yedder card should be more significant and more severe. Because more people have that card on the market, more people are trying to get rid of it, more people are currently investing in this card right now at 125k. So I think, excuse me, I think you're gonna see a little bit more extent, excuse me again, extended and maybe more extreme panic selling on some of these ones to watch cards this weekend because they have more supply, which allows more people to invest in them, more of their cards on the market, allows their price to drop a little bit more. And I think. That's going to be the buy time for these Saturday cards after their games if they don't have an inform worthy performance. So let's say you want this Ben Yedder card for your team. I would not be too afraid to say that I think you could expect to see him close to 100,000 coins flat. Uh, maybe he rises up to 130 right before the game. You might see him uh, be panic sold down to 115 really quick and then maybe some undercuts and some open bids right around 100,000 coins. I think that's kind of your buy range for both Xbox and PlayStation. Somewhere right around 100,000 coins for this card would be good. But that that's the whole idea. I think the lowest point for these cards to this weekend, for Saturday games especially, would be after their game finishes. So again, Ben Yedder plays against Montpelier. 
and after his game finishes, uh, you probably will see a sell-off on that card, like what we saw here from last weekend. He played, dropped down from 125 to 110. Obviously, last weekend he was only in packs for two days before he played a game. This week he's got even more. Uh, but the hype is on this card. He's got a lot of hype. There is an inform this week. Gullivan's going to link to this card. A lot of people like this Ben Yedder card, and he's very good in game. And he's been performing very good IRL. So this is a hyped up card as well. Any other games that play on Saturday, if you're a guy who once wants to watch Coutinho, which a lot of people like this card, uh, I think you're going to look at the same situation. He's been playing good like every weekend. Like last weekend, his card, I think, even went up a little bit, even though he already had a uh, once to watch. It was in packs. He really literally couldn't get an inform in Team of the Week 3. Um, his card price still went up because it's a once to watch. It's a live item. People saw that he was playing well. If you want this once to watch Coutinho on your team, I think this weekend might be the opportunity to get that card in your club as well after their game. Right now it says 215,000 coins for this card. He does have the inform already, the uh, upgraded stats from his 86 to the 87. Uh, so I think that any guy, any guy that plays on Saturday, I think that buy time is going to be post-game. Uh, you know, usually about two hours post-game is when you see the most, the lowest point for that card because you see open bids for cards that people just wanted to get out and try to get coins from. And then also people undercutting. So that's when you can really get the good deals. In that second hour after the game is over, people will be undercutting. People will be listing cards for open bids. And then after that, the, the panic selling kind of stops. People realize the card's low and it kind of jumps back up, you know, maybe 5% in price. And then it continues to go up as it reaches its out of packs time on Monday. So that's what I like for the, for the Saturday cards. Cards that maybe have a game on Sunday, I think we might have a couple different buy windows. Uh, obviously, you have Pepe plays on Sunday. You have the Manchester City with Rodrigo. You have Joe Ellington. You have Wambi Saka. Not sure if some of those guys are going to be playing or all of them are going to be playing. But then you have, uh, you have Barcelona. You have Barcelona-Sevilla. That's a big game. So you have Griezmann as well to watch for that one. Um, any of these other teams down here. I think, well, like, uh, yeah, Inter and Juve play. So that's a pretty solid game. A couple of ones to watch is in that one. Uh, so that's that's a card or a game that you could watch as well. So Sunday actually kind of has more marquee games for a lot of these uh, ones to watch cards. For most of them at least. Not all of them. For most of them. So you can watch the prices on Sunday too. Probably watch for some panic selling. The same thing on Saturday. But also, I think you could see maybe another opportunity to pick up on those cards. If it's a later game in the day. Like let's say on Sunday we have Inter and Juventus playing at... Uh, 1500 so that's like 3 p.m. my time here in the USA so it's a late game for you guys in the UK it's kind of a later night game that's kind of getting closer to squad battle rewards so after that game finishes yeah you know what it might take like a couple hours maybe three hours in total for the game to be completed let's say like two and a half hours um, by that time you're at like 1730 so that's like 5.30, so then you have two hours of panic selling after that, and that leads you right up into squad battle rewards. So you might see some panic and some another opportunity to invest with some of those later game cards on Sunday with squad battle rewards with more supply coming on the market, open bids, etc., etc. People are playing squad battles. People are getting the packs any way that they can. So that's kind of how I feel about the ones to watch is, you know, you, you guys might ask, well, they're going to be in packs for another day. The only chance that would that would have these cards possibly drop even further is if the Saturday cards were panic sold, you bought one, and then on Sunday they drop an SBC with like a 50k pack that would supply these ones to watch cards. I don't really see that happening. I think it's good. I think it's the best time to buy these cards is going to be uh, after their games when they're getting panic sold this weekend. If you want to put one in your club, if you want to invest in one for the future, um, or put one in your team rather, I think that's going to be your best time to do that right there uh because these ones to watch cards are awesome and they're hyped up and they're they're pretty good ones to watch this year man we have some pretty good guys in here griezmann i mean lukaku's playing well coutinho is playing well de young has an inform already um you know and then pepe jao felix are exciting players to watch even guys like joe ellington getting a lot of quality playing time thorgan hazard brant lozano ones to watch this year is very exciting and like last year uh, it's kind of similar to like fifa 18 how i feel at least. So that's how I feel about the buy time for these ones to watch cards. Um, and overall, the market this weekend, you should be seeing a dip down in price for the weekly sell off as well. So that's going to help your card prices on on Saturday night and Sunday night as people are playing the weekly 
as people are finishing their games, maybe selling some cards to get coins out of their club. So that's why I think that your once to watch buy time is this weekend. I think these cards will rise out of packs. They are basically informs. People will be getting more coins and say, hey, maybe I have right now, maybe I have the informed de young. It is uh, 170K or whatever it is. Maybe I'll pay that extra 30K to get the live item of de young. People love these live items, especially like a card like de young they want to put in their squad or a Griezmann or a Rodri or a Coutinho who's going to be a staple in their squad for a while and they want to rock with that card or a high player like Jao Felix. That card is really good in game. They want to get those cards uh, in their club. So that's what I think the best buy time for these one swatches will be. And uh, I also want to kind of talk about, you know, everybody wants to know why is the market so low? Why is the market not exploding what like we know it should be like it has been before? What is going on with the market? And I, I think it's pretty obvious. People don't have coins. And you want to know why people don't have coins. Well, the SBC content from EA Sports, it's been tricky. It's been conniving a little bit. They've just kind of been dinking and dunking, uh, or you know, just a little bit here, a little bit there, taking coins away from people on the market through these SBCs, the ones to watch New Beginnings SBC uh, that you get. What is this? Show a high group rewards. How do I see that? Can I click this down? Uh, no, I can't. I can. Yes, I can. So the Sanchez and the Mictarian. Uh, how much do you have to pay for this? Footbin says this is twenty thousand coins to get one of these. And once to watch promos is 36k. So if you did both of these SBCs, you're looking at almost 60,000 coins that you just rinsed right there to get two cards, uh, two untradeable cards. Maybe you did marquee matchups. That's another 18k. So you're looking at almost 80,000 coins right there. And uh, so many people are doing this national pride SBC. People are addicted to SBCs right now, and it's obvious because the price of these SBCs are staying high. But people, don't do this SBC. It costs you 120 k and the packs that you get back aren't even worth the cost of face value. This is like one of the worst worst value SBCs that I've seen on FIFA in a while, especially for an advanced SBC. A lot of these other ones are decent, you know. Maybe you can do it with some of the cards in your club. But if you are just doing this SBC from scratch and you're paying anything over 50 k for the whole entire National Pride SBC, I'm not about it, okay? So if you're working on that one, I would say just set it aside, wait until later on in foot when you have more disposable coins. But right now, EA is doing a fantastic job of controlling the market taking off because they keep dinking and dunking with these little SBCs, you know, 20K here, 30K here. And that's just a lot of people that maybe only have 100,000 coins, they're like, oh man, this is a good deal. This is a good card. It's a once to watch item. It's live. It's going to get upgraded throughout the year. I'm going to do it doesn't fit in their team, but they're going to go do it. So now all of a sudden, instead of 100K, they only have 50K after doing those two SBCs. And that's why I think you're seeing some of the market not rise as much as it should. Also, next Thursday, people think that the market's going to be going up again because we're going to get the first foot champions rewards. I think there's a lot of people in the same boat as me. A lot of casuals, if they started on Friday especially, they didn't have time to grind the 2,000 weekly league points. So tomorrow or next week's Foot Champions rewards might not be a full bore or full reward week, kind of like it was this week with Rivals. So yes, the market could go up next week. I bet it, it will, but it might not be that big boom that everybody's talking about. But then again, uh, right now it does seem to be dipping a lot. Milinkovic Savages, uh, you know, I saw this card at 10K on Wednesday night, and I thought, okay, this card's a pretty good buy, right under 10,000 coins. I got a bunch of them at like 9.5K, and right now he's around 8,800 coins. Um, Milinkovic Savage is just under 9K. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, that's a good card that people will use in this game. It just seems like we need some more reward sets to kind of turn this game around, and honestly, more objective content from EA. If we see this next week, if we see less SBCs that are going to require like 20 to 30,000 coins and more objectives from EA, then I think you will see uh, the market rise up because they keep they keep killing people with these SBCs because people are addicted to SBCs. They can't say no, man. People cannot say no to these SBCs, and that's the biggest problem with why this market is low. But again, a little bit of market talk in the end for you on that video. But again, once to watch cards, buy after the game is my opinion, especially if you just want to get one, put it in your club. Um, 
you know, these discard guys, they're not going to stay discard for forever. So a guy like Sarabia, a guy like Joelinton, a Pulisic, uh, even a Barella or a Jovic as well. Uh, and maybe a holler too, like a McGuire even. Just buy one, throw it in your club. It's basically like discard inform investing. These are live items. Somewhere down the line, probably United's going to have a game where they hold a clean sheet. McGuire has a good match rating. Maybe he gets an inform, goes to an 84 or, or an 85, whatever of the 82s go to. You might be able to sell that Harry McGuire card. You bought it for 10K when during the promo. You might be able to sell it for like 18 or 19,000 coins. So it's basically like discard inform investing. Banking on that some of these players will get one or two performances in the next couple of months where their card shoots up in price But again, these cards are special cards. They're going out of packs They're gonna rise because they have the cool card design. They just pop they're like wow to the eye They're they're cool looking and they are live items and people in FIFA ultimate team Love themselves some live items. So again, I think getting some of these guys the discard ones that are close to discard you can't go wrong with that. And again, buying after the game seems like the best thing to do, in my opinion, if you want one as an investment or in your team. So uh, do with you do what you will with those and make sure that you are using the SofaScore app. I love this app. Make sure you download it on your smartphone. Go to the app store and just search SofaScore. It's on there. It's easy. Set up notifications for ones to watch players so that when you invest in them, you get notifications on your mobile device when they score and uh, when they do good things. Even get in the starting lineup, you get a notification for that and you can uh, sell those players into the hype before the game. So uh, watch my other videos on that on the channel. Peruse around the YouTube channel. There's a lot of other videos out there as well that aren't just for one period in time. They're for uh, kind of how-to videos. Later this week, I'll probably be posting a video on icon trading. That's a very highly requested video. I want to get that out to you guys as well. So be on the lookout for that. And of course, uh, the usual market outlook on Monday um, as we set our minds for the next week of FIFA Ultimate Team. So be ready for that stuff. Streams as well. Check the link down in the description. I'm live streaming um, multiple days per week on twitch.tv backslash the foot accountant. Check my other links down there as well. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.